All right. So here we have an SAT math question from practice exam one. Uh, in the given pair of equations A and B are constants, the graph of this pair of equations in the xy plane is perpendicular, or they're perpendicular to each other. So which one of these also represents perpendicular lines? So we know that for perpendicular lines, the slopes have to be opposite reciprocals of each other. And the thing that determines the slopes is these coefficients of our x and y variables, right? So we just know that there needs to be a proportional relationship. And since we're looking for reciprocal slopes, we correspond each number or each coefficient to the opposite in the second equation. So the, the coefficient of x corresponds to the coefficient of y in the second equation. The coefficient of uh, y in the first equation corresponds to the coefficient of x in the second equation. So now without actually having to solve a and b, we can look at these answer choices and see what they're trying to get at here, right? We can see that this first equation is almost always the same with the exception of this one. Uh, and in I, any case, it's always just a scaled version of this, right? Uh, in the case of the first three, you're multiplying the x coefficient by two and leaving the rest unchanged. And then in the case of d, we're multiplying the coefficient of seven by negative one. So now that we see that, we can look at our examples and we can say, well, if we have to multiply the coefficient of x by two, then to get a corresponding equation down here, we would have to multiply our b by two, right? So the only one where that gets done are a and b, and then between the negative and the positive, we obviously need to take the positive because here all the coefficients are positive and here all the coefficients would also need to be positive. And we would know that in this case, that makes the uh, lines perpendicular as well. So the answer for this question is simply b.